Hi guys, welcome back to What's On My Plate. So for tonight I'm making a roasted leg of lamb. It's gonna be delicious, you're gonna love it. So let's get started. Okay, so here's my leg of lamb. It's five and a half pounds, boneless. And I'm just gonna go ahead and now add garlic inside here. So I have little slivers of garlic. It's about four large garlic cloves that I'm using in here. If I need more, I'll cut more. So I'm just going to make little slits and then I'm just going to insert my garlic here. So I'm going to do that on both sides and all around because this is going to bring us so much flavor. So I'm going to do this. Once I finish this side, I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. So you need about four or five large pieces of garlic. Just cut them into slivers and then just insert, insert them. Okay, and then I just trimmed a little bit of the fat off. So I'm going to finish the garlic up and then we'll get to the next step, which is basically lathering it with olive oil and seasoning it and we'll get to that step. Okay, so I <clears throat> put garlic in on the whole side. Now I flipped it. So I just wanna show you when it's a boneless leg of lamb, this is how it's gonna actually be. So we're going to insert the garlic in all these pieces here. So see this side here. And then when we roast it, we're just gonna put it together and roast it that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my garlic in here, making my slits here, just putting the garlic in on this side as well. And then we'll get to the next step. Okay, so I have all the garlic inserted into the lamb. Now I'm going to lather the whole lamb with olive oil. Just pour some olive oil on top. the whole thing so we're gonna we're gonna do the other side as well but you know what? I'm gonna start with the other side actually I'm just gonna I'll do this too I just want to get it all lathered up so I don't have to keep putting oil all over my hands okay so just add enough oil probably about a quarter cup that I just put on here. So just rub it all in. Okay? So now we're gonna season this liberally. Okay, so salt. Salt everywhere. Okay, I'll do this part here. So it's gonna be a few teaspoons of salt we just want to liberally season. So then I'm going to add pepper all over. Okay. Then I'm going to add oregano. Oregano all over. That was probably about a tablespoon of oregano. Um, and then I have thyme. So it's lemon thyme. So I grow this in my garden every year and then I dry it out and I save it. So I'm gonna add some thyme. Okay, add it all on. And then paprika. It's gonna go on top. Okay. It smell, the seasoning smells really good. Okay. Okay, so this is the one side. Now I'm gonna close this up here. So when we cook it, we're gonna cook it like this. So now I gotta do the other side as well. So I'm just gonna turn this so I could do this part here. So basically I'm doing the same thing on both sides. So, Pepper, paprika, oregano. I grow oregano in my garden as well. And then thyme. 
okay? And then I'm just gonna flip this over like that, okay? And I'm gonna season this side. So I'm just gonna do the same exact thing liberally season it with salt and pepper so again it's just a few teaspoons just just season it it's not, it can't really be exact okay pepper and I trimmed some of the fat off okay oregano okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually sear this on the stovetop and then I'm gonna place this in a roasting pan and we're gonna cook this in the oven at 350 degrees slow roasting 350 degrees for about two and a half to uh, two and a half hours. So let's get this seared and then we'll get to that step. Okay, so in a large pan, I'm gonna start searing my lamb. So I'm just gonna add it in. Sear it for a few minutes on each side. Okay, so I flipped it over. <clears throat> Look how brown it got on here. So I'm just going to do the other side for a few minutes. Okay, so in a large roasting pan, I have cut up three large onions. I just sliced them. The remaining garlic that I had, I just chopped in here as well. And so I'm just going to salt and pepper the onions here and actually add some paprika and salt and salt. Okay, now that we roasted the lamb, we're gonna add the lamb on top. Just gonna add a little bit of olive oil on here just so it gets on the onions and we'll just mix it up a little bit. So I'm just gonna add my lamb on top. Here it is. So it's gonna cook on the bed of onions. You can add any other vegetable that you want. I'm eating this with lemon potatoes. The lemon potatoes I'm cooking separately and I can, you can use the juices from, from the lamb to cook the potatoes. But I'm just gonna do the potatoes with salt, pepper, oregano, and lemon juice, olive oil, and roast those uh, in the oven. So this, here is going to be, um, we're going to put some broth in here, we're going to put some lemon juice in here, and then we're going to cover this and put it in the oven. So we'll get to those steps next. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add um, like three bay leaves in here. Mine are broken, so I just sprinkled them in. Then we're going to add one cup of white wine. Then we're going to add beef broth. So I'm just going to add the beef broth. And we're just going to do a, like two cups of beef broth. We want to actually kind of cover a little bit of the lamb. And um, this is a large roasting pan, so two cups of beef, beef broth is fine. <clears throat> the rest could be um, water because we also have the white wine in here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze a half of a lemon in here. Squeeze a lemon. Okay and this is ready to go into the oven. I'm just going to add a little bit more time. <laughs> Okay. Now I'm going to cover it and I'm going to get it in the oven. Okay, so now I'm going to cover it, but before I cover it, I just want to 
add a little more olive oil. So about like an eighth of a cup of olive oil here. So let's get it covered in the oven 350 for about two to two and a half hours. And we're gonna check it, just cook it till it's done, but it's approximately two and a half hours, possibly three. Okay, this already smells fantastic. And when it's complete, I will, uh, I will show you. Okay, so I forgot to tell you that uh, the fat that was on there, I just removed a little bit. You want the fat because that's gonna melt into all of the drippings and all over the lamb. So the fat side goes up and now I'm gonna cover it and get it to slow roast in the oven. Okay, so two hours have passed and I uncovered it. I actually flipped it because I wanted to see if it was needed more cooking time. So I'm just basting it right now and I'm going to put it back in the oven for another about 30-45 minutes um, because it should be about 25 minutes per pound to cook but it smells great. We're almost there. Um, so once it's complete I will plate it and I will show you. Okay, so my lamb is complete. I cooked it for two hours and 40 minutes in the oven at 350 degrees. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the temperature up to 425 degrees. I'm going to roast my potatoes. So I'm making lemon potatoes to go with this, but I decided to use the juice from the lamb here for my potatoes as well. So that's right here. I'll show you right now. And now these are going to go in the oven and cook for about 45 minutes or so. And then my whole meal will be complete. But as soon as I, let me go back. <laughs> as soon as I slice my lamb, I'll show you. Okay, the potatoes are all done. The lamb is all sliced up and ready to be plated. Okay, so here is my boneless roasted leg of lamb with my lemon potatoes. Thank you so much for watching what's on my plate. Enjoy.